are such a beauty. I'm gonna miss you. <gasps> Happy Saturday! Look at her! This is my Hoya Tricolor and Carnosa together in one heavy tail pot. Love this pot still. Um, ugh. The best gifts are ones that you want to keep for yourself. <laughs> okay, good news. I have found a parent to take a good amount of my plants. So that's the center of today's video. It's going to be short and sweet or bittersweet. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, what's going on? Today I want to talk about, about, you know I got to write everything down, 10 of my plants that are going to a new home and some cuttings that will be going as well. And so I've already reached out to these people. We've already had contact. However, I haven't told them an exact date. So stay tuned in your email. I will let you know, John and Dee, I will let you know what date I will actually be doing X, Y, and Z. All right. So to give you some context for those that may have missed how we got here, I am planning a move. And in my move, I am downsizing my life as well as my plant collection. So I wanted to get my plant collection down to about 30 plants. We'll see if I'm there. But we are now 10 plants closer. I have about eight plants going to one person. Some cuttings going to another person and two two plant oh wait two plants going to another person and one plant going to it. So I have three, four, it doesn't matter, it's a lot. Okay, context. I am moving. I wanted to plan a huge adoption. My plan was to put it out on the channel, see who wanted to adopt my plants. And then within about a week of me announcing it, I saw thrips on my plants. So that put a huge halt in my adoption plans. And so the people that have reached out to me knows that my plants have been exposed to thrips. But just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to say this again. My plants have been exposed to thrips. So it's been about seven, six or seven weeks based on today. Um, so since then, I have been doing like this three-step approach to treating the thrips. I literally take it in my shower and spray them down. And then I spray the bug spray on, let that dry. And then after it dries, I then put a sulfur treatment, hence the polka dots. So the polka dots or the sulfur treatment is going to treat anything in between waterings. <clears throat> so every plant in my collection gets a sulfur treatment, it gets that same shakedown. Okay, everybody in this club is getting tipsy. So a couple of my community members, and I love you guys so much reached out to me and um, offered to take in or take care of some of my plants. I really appreciate that because the whole move itself is stressful to have thrips. Um, it's just, uh, it's a lot. So I really, 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 really from the bottom of my heart appreciate um, you guys for stepping in and being willing to take on some of my babies anyway. So today I want to give you an update on those babies because it may be the last time we see them here on this channel. They're going off to, to be in another loving home. It When I think about it like that, it doesn't feel sad at all. Like I think of my babies going out and being shared with the world is just is a it's an amazing thought it's just plants right but it's not just plants because that's a little piece of meat in your home so this is one of the babies that is going can you believe it look how beautiful she is and when i tell you this booger is heavy like this is a workout oh, oh, oh. plant number two is my crinkle eight yes can you believe it my crinkle eight is going 
Oh, she's so cute. Hey, <laughs> she's so cute. I She has grown so much for me. If I can find a picture of her when she, for, oh, she's got a little baby coming in there. Look at that. It's a little leaf coming in there. She is one that when she has the right everything, she grows and flowers very well. You see, she has flowered for me in the past. And then she went through a period where she wasn't flowering for some reason. I think she is on the brink of flowering again. So, um, yeah, taking care of them is a breeze. They do like good sun, but not too much sun. This is what happens when you give them too much sun. Now, this does not harm the plant. To me, it's just unsightly. I would rather for them to have darker leaves. But as you see, she's being treated as well. And she's doing well for now, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to miss doing this. But yeah, I'm going to, um, she is going to another home. I'm excited for her because I'm pretty sure she's going to love her new home. And so little updates on her graduation, her and when she has new babies, I want to know. <laughs> this is crazy. But yeah, my crinkle eight. I know. Can you believe it? My obavada. Okay, so... I love this plant. I love this plant. When I found out there were plants that had round leaves, I was absolutely taken. I had to have one. And I waited for a long time to get one. And then when I did, I got two. So which is what's in this pot. I put two plants together. I want to say they might have been two inch plants or two inch pots. They weren't very big at all. Um, she too has flowered for me in the past. Here is her peduncle. I have one here. I, oh, and one here. So I have two peduncles here. Um, she has not flowered recently, but I also think she is in that space where she's about ready to do what she needs to do. She's in a clear pot. Um, so... She will be easy to, to, to spy on to make sure everything is okay. Um, she has been recently watered, which is why her soil is so dark. But other than that, she's doing really, really good. I have not seen any thrips on any of the ones that I've shown so far. I haven't seen any thrips on any of these plants. These things are, are rather hardy. And I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to snip a little piece off and take a little piece hard to tell now but she has splash on her um she's not a super splashy one but she has nice round leaves but this one has a little dimple right here <laughs> i just love this i love her love her love her love her <laughs> i think i am going to cry <laughs> these are my hush kulianas um, this one I showed you on the last video is going through something right now. Um, I pulled off all of her dead leaves and yet she still has another couple of branches that are dried up. So I watered her just the other day. So I know she's not lacking water, but I knew something was going on with her because she wasn't pushing out any new growth. And so, yeah. What's going to end up happening is I'm probably going to give her a bit of a trim. I'm going to probably trim this one because she's got a little dead spot up in here. So this might be a good space to push some, push out some roots. Hopefully that'll kind of push up some, some growth to it. But other than that, uh, you know, once again, I always like to buy the green versions because I think the green versions grow better. Both of these grew very well. When they are happy, they are happy. When they're sad, though, um, the key to knowing when they're sad is that they stop growing. And this one was doing the same thing for a little bit. And then I treated her with the sulfur and I started watering her more often. I, I still was in the mindset that they don't need a lot of water. And I got over that. Look, she is blooming. She's got peduncles everywhere. Oh my goodness. And I'm just seeing this. So here's a peduncle here. 
It's probably several in there because I saw them on the way here. I see two. Here's another one here, up in, up in here. Oh my goodness, so she's gonna be flowering soon. I'm so excited. I just saw a baby new leaf, but I can't find it right now. So, same. I'm probably going to, oh, here's a peduncle in here too. Oh, oh here's another one. <laughs> So what I'm probably going to do with this is I'm going to cut a piece off. I'm probably going to cut a piece for me and for John. And um, the plant, the mama plant will go to D. Um, this was one she requested. And so, yeah, I'm going to cut a piece. Yeah, she's got peduncles everywhere. And when I tell you she smells amazing when she um, flowers, it's a nice thing. So a lot of what she has is wrapped up in here. I'm gonna just pull that down, cut a couple of pieces off the end and wrap her back up and she'll still look good. You probably won't even know. The only reason I'm telling is because when you see I have this plant in my collection, you'll know why. <laughs> so I'm excited because that means that what I've been doing is working. So at least I know for sure that this one is actually doing well. This one, I'm going to keep plugging at her. and Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I can get her back on the right track before she actually leaves out. I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit before I cut. Before we go any further though, let me introduce myself. My name is Yvette Boone. I'm a recovering software engineer and a lifelong creative hobbyist and plant enthusiast. And I'm sad today. <laughs> Not really, um, because I am adopting out my plants because I'm downsizing my life for a bit. So I'm downsizing my plant collection too. So today's video is about that adoption and showing you which plants I am adopting out. And we are going to be happy about it. Dang it. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I am adopting out some of my plants and she's one of them. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. So another plant that is doing fantastic. She needs to be watered right now, right as we speak. Syndapsis silvery Ann. You know, this entire time that I've had this plant, she has given me nothing but a fight. This is one of the plants that I actually did see thrips on. So she actually got a systemic treatment. And then I followed up with the other kinds of treatments that I was doing. Um, but when I tell you this is the best she has ever looked, she is so full and so pretty and her leaves are not curling at all. She is doing a fantastic job. She's got brand new babies. I see new little babies coming in. Oh, look at that, a new leaf coming in right here. She is doing fantastic. Now, I don't see her giving me silvery and vibes. Like, I don't see where her tips, some of her tips are coming in with a little bit more silver on the end. But um, not as much as I thought. Well, this one is, is not too bad. This is a new one. She's she's giving me silver tips. So I think she's doing pretty good. So this is one that I'm actually I'm I'm giving up. <laughs> yeah, this is hard. But you know what? I will say this whole move has been difficult. It has really tested my gangster. And look at the new leaf. Here's another new leaf. Here's another new leaf. She's got new leaves everywhere. Here's one in here. Here's one in here. She's got, I see about four or five new leaves on this bad boy. So she is doing fantastic. I am not going to take a cutting of her. Not because I don't want her, but because she did kind of give me a little bit of, of a problem in the very beginning. One of the things that I will say that hurried up and got her whole life together was me cutting her. I cut her, she bounced back, she did well, but I was still struggling for whatever reason with the watering. For whatever reason now, after the thrips, she is doing fantastic. One of the things though, is I have had her inside of a um, propagation box because I put two of the plants that I had that I actually saw the thrips on together, I was treating them systemically 
in the propagation box. And then I end up seeing thrips on other plants. So I just didn't stress about the propagation box or keeping them isolated. But she liked the propagation box. So if you have a little bit of a, a area that gets a little bit more humidity, she might appreciate that. But she's doing absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to water her now because she definitely needs to be watered. But her roots are still giving. Look at that. Her roots are doing good. She is one that is on the list. And like I said, the receiver already knows that my plants have has been exposed to thrips. And this one actually had the thrips. But like I said, I gave her a systemic treatment. So I don't suspect that she will continue birthing thrips. I don't see anything now. I don't even see thrip damage. I never saw, oh, well, I never really saw thrip damage on her. I just happened to be looking at the plant and I saw the thrip on there. But she never really experienced any kind of thrip damage, but she's definitely getting the treatment. And I will probably treat her one more time before she actually leaves out. So yes, my silvery Ann, <laughs> say goodbye y'all. She's so cute. She's so cute. She looks good. <laughs> Me, um, This is not one that I'm giving away. Hold on, got a little spill here. This is not one that I am giving away. Um, you know, I was struggling with even keeping this one because this is who I think brought the thrips from jump. So yes, I will always take some time and be looking at her hard because I don't really trust her like that, but she's growing. This is the most growth I have gotten on this plant. Well, maybe not the mother plant, but this is the most gross growth I've gotten off of this. And, and the, the new growth is not curling up and dying. So as you see with this new growth here, down here, that new growth was like all going bananas. But these two other big leaves, these have been out for quite some time and they're still doing well. So one thing I have to remember about this bad boy is to water her. I'm still not 100% sure on how to care for her. She's doing better. Another plant that is doing better is reverted manjula. Now I know if you don't know the backstory of this plant, you like, girl, that is a dried up piece of crusty stuff in that, in that pot. And you could be right, but this crusty stuff looks better than the crusty stuff it had from before. So I'm still looking. I don't think I ever saw a thrip on this plant either, but I honestly feel like this plant was the one that was suffering the most from the thrips and it was unrecognizable because I thought she was just being a manjula. Um, but she's doing better. Don't be shocked if she doesn't make the trip. However, I'm still learning off of the opportunity that I have. I really feel like it's my watering that is causing her to, to act the way she is. Um, but she's getting better. This is her mother plant and she is still doing beautiful. She does have a couple of yellow leaves in here, but she feels a little lightweight. So I don't know. She might get a watering just because, because I'm never, I have never overwatered this plant. All right, let's go back to, we have, we got five more plants. Okay, my Cebu Blue. <laughs> okay, so the Cebu Blue is starting to do better. Once again, I have never seen any um, any um, thrips on her. She has never really, really taken off of me. I am going to try this plant again for sure in the future. Um, I feel like she could be a contender in my house. I need to do a couple of things right. What I love about this plant is that she propagates really nicely. And I love the color. That blue and silver in plants just gets me every time. And if you notice, she even has some chartreuse in there too. So if you give her a lot, not really chartreuse, but she's leaning to a really bright green. If you give her a good amount of light, she will push out the these bright green. But as they mature, they sort of turn silvery blue, and I love that. Now, she is growing really well. This is an 8-inch pot. So, um, considering that this is such a huge pot, 
she probably would look a lot fuller if she was in a smaller pot but she was she was growing so quickly and then you know life and me so she's got a lot of tendrils back here that you know can be cut and helped to push out some more new growth but other than that she's pretty full she's not a slow grower she will grow really really quickly it's just that you got to have the right i need to get the right mix of light and water and i never quite mastered that with this plant but i'm gonna try again mark my words Sivo blue mm, i know a shocker right are you guys shocked are you shocked if you're not shocked i'm shocked I've already reached out to the uh, the owner of this new plant, and but I also want to ensure that she's comfortable with caring for this plant. Either way, we have a backup. I'm not worried. I know she's fully capable of taking care of her, but I just want to know if she's interested, if she wants it. She said she was interested, so I'm going to believe her. But I am excited about my peace Lily going to a new home. Now I do have a baby from her um, that is in water that I would love to experiment putting her, taking her from water to soil. Um, I, and, and I will most likely share that experience. But um, if you know, baby girl wants to switch and do the water one because that's easier and I keep this one, that's fine as well. But either way, I'm going to have one less piece lily, maybe even two, um, in my life. And so I'm willing to part with the big girl. I can't believe it, but... And look, she makes me look so little. <laughs> ah, she's a big one, and she is doing beautifully okay no pressure no pressure katie no pressure at all but yeah that's my baby she's going and she's flowering look <laughs> why does it seem like all of the plants that are on the trellis hmm interesting my australis lisa <gasps> okay so in fairness she said Australis. She didn't say Lisa, but why would you not? <laughs> Plus, this pot has both the Lisa and the Australis, or Australis and the Australis Lisa in it. She's in a clear pot, so that's always a win-win. I have not seen any thrips. Oh, by the way, I have not seen thrips on the Peace Lily either. I have not seen thrips on this puppy. Um, and I feel like, and she just finished blooming not too long ago. So she is definitely ready for the world. I'm trying to remember. These are new leaves, but it feels like they've been new for a very long time. Either she had done pushed out two sets of new leaves. And where is the peduncle? Um, where the, how, how you lose a peduncle, child? Hmm, I don't know where the peduncle is. It's around here somewhere. I'm, I'm probably looking right at it and I'm missing it, but she just finished blooming not too long ago. So, I'm not, uh, where is the peduncle? Because, you know, sometimes you can lose, they'll fall off, or I don't know where the peduncle is, child. That is crazy. I remember not wanting to cut it there because I didn't want to lose a peduncle. Anywho, <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. But I cut her recently and I have a cutting here. And does this have the peduncle? No, I have two cuttings. This doesn't have, the, I don't know where the peduncle went, but both of these are rooted, which is perfect because I'm gonna plant those up soon. Um, so this one is going to a new home. And this is a mix of both the Australis Lisa and the Australis. I'm excited for her. This is Horde. She's so cute. 
Ugh. Look at that. All right, so the hang time on this bad boy is ridiculous. She has produced a runner that is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Now, what can happen is we could take this and swirl it in the pot and get it to root, which is what I think I'm going to try. She has a, this is my Monstera Peru, by the way. She has a baby coming out here, which is perfect. Um, and she's got a new leaf right here, which, you know, I hadn't seen new growth on her in a minute. So all you gotta do is tell these these plants that you're giving them away and they start, they, they get some act right. But she's doing pretty good. I'm gonna take her in the bathroom now and water her because she needs to be watered. She hasn't been watered. I gave her a little bit the other day, but she needs a good watering. She is going to a new home. Once again, I will say this again. I love the look of this plant. I hate the growth of this plant. I hate the form that it takes, but I honestly think if I could find a way if this had a better form on her, let me talk when I get back, cause I don't like this. I don't think it was nothing serious, but I couldn't take no chances, which, you know, I was gonna do that anyway. So, I need my trash can back. Okay, so with the Peru, I say, um, her growth habit, the way her growth form, the way she grows, is a smidge annoying to me so i would prefer to grow her a little different than the way she likes to grow and i don't want to fight with a plant if it wants to throw out runners because that's what makes it feel safe i don't want it to do anything different i just probably won't grow them now if i could figure out a way to grow them so that they i can get it to be a little bushier and it doesn't mind it that's fine but i don't know i still think she is a beautiful plant I love the way the leaves come in. I love the crinkleness, the, the, the um, texture of the leaf. But I don't like the growth habit. Okay. And this last one is going to surprise you because it, it actually surprised me too. But my cousin requested this plant and it's just hard to say no to her. <laughs> and um, in reality, I, yeah, this whole move has been difficult. So, uh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Um, this is not going to be easy to do at all. She doesn't look like she has any, um, she doesn't look like she has any sulfur on her at all. She might have to get another sulfur treatment just to be on the safe side because that, that spraying didn't feel like it, it stuck very well, but I did spray her down really, really good. So yes, my Madonna. Now, cousin wants to be... Cousin wants plants that she doesn't typically see in the store. And so I'm okay with supplying her with my plant. Now, either I'm going to take a baby of this before I actually leave and I'm going to grow um, a cutting or I'm going to hold on to her for just a little bit longer until I'm actually ready to exit exit and then or get to the next chapter in my life and then i will give her over to cousin but i'm here now we actually currently live in the same state so it feels a little crazy not to give it to her now but if i definitely if i give it to her now i'm going to um propagate it and and grow my own version because i love this plant i actually bought this plant on my way to her 50th birthday party so 
and there was already a connection of this plant to her um but it would it would make sense for me to give her this plant she she wants it she asks for it and um i can't take it with me this time in my life is is rather difficult and she is super heavy but yeah this this time in my life is sort of challenging um as i knew it would be um but it's really nice to have these you know soft landings in between to know that my plants are going to good homes and look this is no pressure anybody that gets any of my plants if the plants die i'm not going to die um and i don't hold you responsible for my hopes and dreams by trying to keep these plants alive okay <laughs> Um, the fact that you have them in your home and that you are willing to take a chance on the plants is more than enough for me to feel, um, like the gift was well received. So I'm not, I'm going to get off before I get choked up, but yeah, <laughs> it's been real y'all. If no one else has said it to you today, have a great day. Bye. <laughs> um, so I just need a record of a record. Why did I say it like that? <laughs>